What's going on guys? My name is Brennan Myers. This is the 30 for 30 series and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted to all right, so 30 for 30. What does it mean? Every single morning we're coming back at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, giving you a workout video you could be following. If you don't post it by that time, it's just not a workout for the day. Rest or recover. Today we have legs. Now before every single exercise that we jump into, we show you the muscles that will be worked throughout the movement. Now before we jump into the actual workout, I wanna give you a few tips you could be following for not only this workout, but future workouts, and let's get started. All right, quick tip number one. When you wake up every morning, try the cat-cow stretch. But also place your hips into a posterior pelvic tilt position when you do it. Complete eight sets of five second holds. Number two, have you not tried the Create You Greens yet? Link is in the description. I take them every single morning. Number three, vitamin D is one of the most important vitamins for our immune system. Going outside in the sun a bit each day and removing yourself from artificial light as much as possible may just be a game changer. Number four, majority of leg movements require a neutral spine. Unless told otherwise, suspend your neck and keep your core tight. And last but not least, number five, if you want to be explosive, you can. Just remember, technique is still super important throughout the movement, complete at your own risk. All right, so we have a Bulgarian split squat each side going into a pistol squat hold assistant. All right, so Bulgarian split squat, as you guys have seen in other videos, your toe is gonna be as far as possible away from the other platform, whatever you're using. So it's gonna be right at the edge, okay? Then here, you don't wanna go too far extended where your hip flexor is at risk or you feel it stretching too much and you don't wanna actually rotate here at this hip. So keep everything tight and the way that you do this is you push this other leg back, right? And real, real tight, okay? As you come down, you just wanna stabilize here, come right back up, not fully extension. We don't want a full extension there on the knee, coming down and all the way back up. Then we're gonna move straight into a pistol squat hold position, okay? And I've showed this multiple times, but you can use some type of a counter, something low or high, doesn't really matter. But I want you to round your upper back. This is very, very important. It's gonna put a little bit more contraction on that glute, okay? From this position, that glute, I look how I round my foot as so, rounding my foot, okay? Then I'm going to find that little crease where I'm sitting back and I feel my glute, oh, it's firing, okay? From there, I'm gonna sit back, and if I want, I can take off my foot. I'm gonna keep that rounded upper back, and I can even let go and hold myself in this position on each side. Okay, so we have uh, some floor hamstring leg curls. I want you to do single leg. So actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this chair. I'm gonna show you and demonstrate it with this. You can also do it with both legs if you would like. And then, you're gonna move straight into a sideline position it's gonna be an adductor movement. I'll show you in a second. It's pretty pretty complicated, but if you do it correctly, you'll really enjoy it. So get a foam roller, get something that is kind of, or even a towel, towel is fine as well. Okay, with these lying hamstring curls, you're gonna have one leg here. It's gonna be just uh, uh, more than 90 degrees. So I would say 105 degrees, as you can see right here. Okay, for my, for my elbow, or my knee, this is not my elbow. <laughs> and then this foot is going to be all the way extended out, okay? From this position, bend your knee slightly, very, very slightly. You're gonna feel already your hamstring is on. Then, you're gonna tuck in your chin, squeeze everything into the ground. You can put your hands to the side, whatever you would like, but squeeze in your stomach as much as possible. Now you're gonna lift up, focusing on this left leg as much as possible, squeezing in your glutes. From here, you're gonna roll up, not too high, right around, we're on this position, 90 degrees of that knee, and then coming right back down and right back up, trying to not put too much stabilization on this other opposite leg. Now with these adductor sideline, what I want you to do is have the foam roller right around your knee area to the inside of your thighs, okay? From this position, I want you to tuck in your upper, about your shoulder, right? So you're tucking in everything and making sure that this part right here is slightly off of the ground. We don't want it to be hanging here, so slightly off the ground, very, very slight, not too much. Now, these positions right here, it's about 90 degrees of this knee joint. As you can see, about 90 degrees. Just about, okay? And from here, what you're gonna do is you're going to bring back one of these legs here, okay? Now notice, shifting it backwards, but keeping everything to the side, holding your head here if you like, and then you're gonna squeeze into the foam roller or whatever you have there. But remember, if you're not coming back and squeezing, you're not gonna feel it as much. 
But once you do it, oh my gosh, your adductor is going to be on fire. That's your superset. So we have assisted pistol squats going into suicide squats. So the assisted pistol squats, just like I showed you earlier over there, um, with this positioning, I want you to actually go down in a full movement. So you can put your foot here if you would like, and as you're coming down, squeeze, 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 come all the way back up, really shift into that glute. If you're not feeling it in your glute a lot and even your hamstring, you're not doing it correctly. You wanna squeeze as much as possible, keeping everything as straight as possible. You can even round your upper back slightly, okay? My gosh, I'm already like, my leg is shaking. Okay, from there, we're gonna move into suicide squats, okay? With these suicide squats, you're gonna be in this position straight up, keeping tucked in, neutral spine, chin suspended back, okay? We're in a good, good position right here. All we're gonna do is bend forward, but now we have a table that's in front of us. Now from this position, we are going to have our feet just within shoulder width apart, not together fully, but just within shoulder width apart. Now from this position, all we're gonna do is go on the balls of our feet, immediately it's gonna bend our knees or flex our knees in that position, and then we're gonna come forward as much as possible, almost until your knees are touching the ground, and coming right back up and focusing on the same exact movement back, trying to let go of the table a little bit as you're coming to extend. Now you're gonna come back down, that's one, and going into another one, boom, this is two, a squeezing as much as possible with those quads, and that is your superset. Okay, so we have pop-offs, lateral lunges, going into single leg hamstring hip thrusters. So, with these lateral pop-offs, what you wanna do, don't you like my different colored socks? Give me a thumbs up if you like them. Also, if you like my hat and my mustache, I must ask you a question, do you like it? Let me know. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna do a lateral lunge, okay? From this lateral lunge, I can't even, look at that balance, geez. You're gonna do a lateral lunge here, all right? Both feet completely straight forward. If it's open, it's not gonna be working as much as you would like, okay? So keep everything forward. Now notice how my outside leg, this right leg, is right under my right shoulder. That's what we want. Now from this position, we're gonna be doing pop-offs, okay? So it's gonna be a pop-off and coming right back down, pop-off. Right back down. The most focus that you need is not externally rotating and pushing off. That's not what we want. It's not about height. It's much more about contraction and control straight up and extending that knee. We're really trying to work that quad to glute, okay? From here, we're gonna go into single leg. Or actually, we're gonna do hamstring hip thrusters, so both legs, okay? So, it's gonna be about a 90 degree angle here, a little bit less or a little bit more, so 105 degrees to 135 degrees is completely fine, all right? You're gonna point your toes towards your head as so, okay? From this position, you're gonna tuck in your chin. You're gonna put your elbows into the ground, or even put your hands into the ground, and squeeze as much as possible into the ground, right? From this position, you're going to come up here, all right? Just try and squeeze your glutes slightly, and bring them up just slightly off the ground. Now from this position, your feet, you'll notice, are just like a few inches away from each other, okay? So, you're gonna come up and down, as so. Now you don't wanna go fully extended, and you don't wanna come all the way down, all right? So it's kinda halfway, as so, all right? And that's your superset. Okay, here we go. We have Superman stabilizers on each Side. I absolutely love this movement. Um, and not only, it's kind of a yoga movement, to be honest. Um, you can you can call it whatever you would like. I like to call them Superman stabilizers because we're using it for an actual workout and it's bodyweight training, and uh, that's just how we do. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna be in a straight position right here, tucking your stomach as much as possible. Squeeze, squeeze everything. Retract the pressure scaps here. Okay. From this position, you're gonna take one leg off. Now notice how my one foot is off. It's about a couple inches off right here. Okay. You're going to tuck in your toe here on this side, all right? From this position, you're gonna go forward, keeping everything intact as much as possible and trying to have your chest face the ground. Now to do this, you're gonna squeeze your toes into the ground as much as possible. Notice how it adjusts my stabilization. If it's not, I'm gonna be wiggling everywhere, okay? So, I'm gonna squeeze as much as possible in here. If you can only go to this position, great. You're a beginner, that's fine. If you can get more advanced, I want you to go fully, fully, as much as possible straight, but don't fully extend your knee, okay? Keep everything tucked in this position, and then go to the other side. That burns, all right. That is completing your workout. All right, so there you have it. That is your workout for the day, 30 for 30. 30 for 30. 
I am absolutely loving these workouts in the house. You can also do them at the park. Um, if you want more advanced stuff, Body Evo, link is always in the description for a bodyweight training program. We actually have a couple weeks of home training in there as well. Um, geez, I'm loving everything about this. Follow me on Instagram, at the Myers. Let me know, give me your feedback. Do you like this stuff? Do you like my stash? Do you think my puffy nipples are great? <laughs> A lot of people actually give me a lot of havoc about my puffy nipples, and um, I just don't care. I love my puffy nipples. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for tuning in for another video. Today was legs. Tomorrow, we're going to be coming back with another training, and uh, you're definitely going to feel it. If you're eating the right foods, you're taking micronutrients, by the way, create your greens, link in the description, then you should be feeling pretty damn good. And when you go back to the gym, if you want to go back to the gym, you'll feel great. If not, just keep on following the bodyweight workouts that I have on my channel and also my Body Evo program. So yeah, again, thanks for tuning in. Turn your post notifications on. Comment down below. Give me some of your feedback. And I'll see you next time.